welcome back to our channel so guys today we are going to create this sheet metal exercise in solid work. in this video we will uh, learn how to use uh, lures and create lures in solid work so, so later we create this part in solid work box and later we uh, make it a DXF file for cutting so look how we create this uh, part and uh, later we apply the lures for machining so here look how we design this one so here uh, look the this design so first we uh, see the flat view flatten view for this sheet metal box so here just go to the sheet metal and now select flatten so it will show how machining works to cut this uh, sheet metal parts and later we apply the lures by uh, punching die pressing tools so here we create this part so go to the file select part new and select part then ok now here we change the background to plain white ok now go to the top plane right click sketch normal and here we create center rectangle so we make the center rectangle from this uh, origin point ok go to the smart dimension and here we select this line and here we uh, make the dimension this line 56.03 mm okay now here we select this uh, length and make make this length uh, 77.48 mm okay now here we create two circle so go to the circle now select circle and make sure it is uh, horizontal to this uh, center line center point of this uh, rectangle okay here go to the smart dimension and uh, make the circle 6 diameter okay make it also 6 mm now here uh, we make the distance from this uh, a, uh, line so make the distance 25 0.36 mm distance now here make it also 25.36 mm okay now here we create this sketch so it's time to uh, so here it's time to uh, make the base plane so go to the seed metal and select base plane and here we uh, keep the thickness 1.2 mm k factor 0 0.5 okay now here we uh, apply the material so go to, uh, apply this one and here we create edge flame so select this edge flame and select all four corners and uh, we uh, make the radius 1.6 mm okay <coughs> make it 1.6 mm and here we uh, make the length of this edge flame so we keep it blind and make the length change to uh, make, make the material inside and make the length 70 mm okay now here we make the close corner so go to the corners and here we apply the close corner so here uh, go to the close corner so it will ask face to extend so first we select this plane and select this one and here uh, we tick this open bend region select this one so here we first select all this uh, facage to extend so just drag ok now here we select this face and this face select and move select this face so it will uh, uh, close this corner and here we uh, just anti coplanar passage 
and narrow corners. We just take open bend region and auto propagation. Then okay. So here look, we create this closed corner to this box. And uh, again we go to the edge frame and select this uh, edge and move here okay now here we go to the edit flange so select it uh, first we apply the bend radius so it will 1.6 mm it is proper bend radius for this thickness of 1.2 mm of any sheet metal body okay now here we just uh, edit this sketch so go to the edit sketch and here we make the drag up to here now again select this go to the smart dimension and here we uh, select this line and make it 19.46 mm okay now here we select this line and make it 39.46 mm okay now here we uh, make the length between this center point so again select this point and this point and uh, here we make the distance 6.13 mm okay now here we uh, finish this sketch so select this one okay now here uh, we finish so it will not change so uh, it is fully defined sketch now finish this sketch so look how we uh, apply the edge flange of this sheet metal now again go to the uh, now here we uh, apply the break corners so we here we apply the fillet of 4 mm so select this edge and this corner edge so here we apply the fillet 4 mm again we select this face so and uh, cut out two circle so select this face right click sketch normal okay now here we create two circle first we uh, create one center line and make sure it is uh, horizontal to this center center axis okay now here create two circle just create it now go to the smart dimension select this circle and make the circle 5.29 diameter ok now select this circle and make it also 5.29 ok now here we select this edge corner edge and this center point and uh, here we make the distance to this uh, line and center point of this circle make make it 5 point 5.15 uh, so it looks good so select this one and make it also 5.15 mm okay now select this point and this uh, edge and make it uh, 6.54 okay now again select this one and select this circle point and make it also 6.54 mm okay now here we just uh, extrude cut to this circle so go to the features select extruded cut and make the condition link to thickness so it will it will cut this part okay now here we create plane from this uh, this uh, sheet metal box 
now here we select both face so here we create uh, one plane between this now here it's time to mirror this one so go to the mirror now here we select plane and it will ask uh, uh, faces to mirror so select this edge flange so we just uh, uh, create feature to mirror so we just select uh, edge flange so it will be mirror opposite side and here we select cut extrude also okay now here we uh, untick this geometric pattern so we will create mirror to this side body and just we forget to apply the fillet so go to the fillet and make the just uh, sorry not fillet we apply chamfer of 4 mm at 45 degree so select this corner and this corner so here we apply the chamfer okay and so we create this uh, edge flame now again select this face right click sketch normal and here we create three circle for cutout so go to the circle now here we create circle up to here and make the circle one and create this one okay now here just create one circle more so first we uh, make the dimension so select this circle and make it 15 diameter and make it also 15 diameter okay now uh, go to the smart dimension so here we uh, select this line and this circle center point and make the distance 18 mm 18 mm okay now select this line and this circle point and make it also 18 mm so here we uh, apply the distance so again we create center line from this uh, center point of this circle to this circle and make the relation uh, horizontal so it comes to this side so again select this circle center point and this line and make the distance 18 mm okay so here we create this one now again select this center line okay now we uh, create one circle more so go to the circle and create circle up to here okay now make it also 15 diameter okay now again we make the distance from this center line to this uh, third circle so go to this point and this point and uh, here we make the distance 20 mm below side okay now here just we extrude cut so here we make the condition uh, through all so we will cut both sheet metal body so it uh, cut through all body <coughs> okay so look how we cut this part so again we apply the louvers in this side so select this face normal okay now go to the design library select design library and here it will option forming tools and uh, now look louvers so here we select the louvers and drag to this face so it comes on this face <coughs> now here we uh, make the position so first we uh, rotate this one this louver so here uh, option rotation angle so make the louvers <coughs> 270 degree so it comes on this position now here we go to the position and apply the uh, um, distance so go to the smart dimension so 
so here we select this line and this center point of this lower and make it 28 mm okay now again select this top edge and select this center point and make the distance uh, this will be a uh, 15 mm okay now uh, tick this and we create this lower so look how we create this lower and it's it looks very beautiful so here we make the linear pattern so uh, direction so select this line and uh, it will ask entity so we select this lowers okay now here we uh, make the distance 12 mm and we need four numbers of lower so select in a pattern of four numbers okay now look how we create now here it's time to mirror this uh, lower to this side so go to the mirror command now select this face and select this lower linear pattern and select this default lower so here we create this uh, mirror to this side sheet metal body okay <coughs> so look how we cut this uh, and make the lures to this body and uh, it is ready for uh, production so here we is time to apply the uh, corner relief so it is basically used for uh, uh, bending bending lines uh, to it is helpful for bending any sheet metal body so it does not break so here we create the corner relief so we just select collect collect all corners so it will select where we need uh, corners so here we uh, option relief option so we will uh, keep it all round and select center on bend line so we will create the corner relief on this bend line center on this bend line okay so look how we create this uh, corner relief so basically it is used for uh, bending so material will be not tear out and helpful for bending so we uh, apply the bend corner relief basically corner relief are helpful for this one okay so look how we create now here is time to see the flatten view so flatten view we give the dxo file for uh, laser cutting operator for cutting this material so we he cut this part in sheet metals and uh, for this uh, we mark lures and later we bend after all bending we make the lures through the punching uh, die punching machine so it looks better so here we can uh, cover various uh, command in solid work like corner corner relief lures edge flange sheet metal parameters thickness